What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John here from Pumplot. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19. Of course, guys, we're here. Lakeland Vale by Stevie. How's everybody doing? Appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Welcome back, guys. I have not fast time to anything. That's why it's dark. We're going to go ahead and play in the dark. I don't like to, but occasionally, occasionally it's okay, too. So let's get this fired up and rolling. Uh, comments from last video, guys. I do not. I do not. I do not have Farming Simulator 20 on console because that's not a thing. That is not a, not a thing. Not a thing. So if it was, I would have it. I do have Farming Simulator 19 on console. I do have that. I don't play it very often. I it's OK. It's an OK game. I'm not a huge fan of the way that it runs. It runs kind of slow, not going to lie. So there is that, but I do have it nonetheless. Uh, and it's been a while since I've played anything on Xbox, to be honest, but uh, I do have an Xbox one X and, um, yeah, not sure about the series X. Not going to lie. We'll see. We'll see about that one. Uh, anyway, course play guy is going to take it we did i did harvest field five as well we did and finished six uh after last video got those done but we're just 21 22 and 21 uh yet to go we'll do that oh there was another comment saying i've uh, been watching the channel for a long time and and stuff i appreciate it thank you guys thank you guys i appreciate it very much very much uh, but yeah, Tribine is rocking. We're going to let him just, you know, do Tribine things. I don't know why I clicked on the more. I don't have anything to use it with. But what we do have is we need to get this going. We don't need lime anywhere, so we need to fertilize. We will need to fertilize and cultivate. So let's get some field work uh, going underway, you know. Why not get some field work underway here, guys? Nope, not that button. This button right here. Right here. I found it. I hit the button. And that's herbicide as well. Mm, that's a problem. <laughs> we, need, we need just a little tiny bit of fertilizer because we have it set to just buy everything. But you still have to have something in the tank. Like, like 83 liters, gallons gallons unit convert mod unit convert mods a thing this thing has 589 acres through it so far the sprayer was definitely my first one definitely the first one that's in 10.5 hours wow it's not bad not bad at all not bad at all um yeah so i actually didn't think i was gonna make a video tonight not gonna lie I thought I was going to have to skip a day on you guys and I don't, don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to do that. Uh, it was a long farm. Actually, it wasn't that long of a farm day. It was just uh, miserable. It's Sunday night late for me now. Technically it's Monday morning. It's one 30 in the morning. Um, it was a miserable day at the farm. It was a miserable day. Uh, heat index was around 110, 112, something like that not a lot of wind in fact like basically no wind all day so that was miserable now we didn't spend a lot of time outside i did have to cut the grass around the farm and then i did also cut the highway i didn't have to do that one but yeah we've we've had that conversation before about mowing out of the highway it's just one of those small things we can do to make the world a better place you know it's it's our part you know just make the world look better why not you know so plus the the people across the highway from us i say highway it's a one lane in each direction road it's nothing big nothing fancy trust me but the people over there they recently took a bat wing and they mowed along their corn it's great all about it right but they didn't really mow next to the road so they cut like the grass and the weeds by their corn and then their telephone pulls over too and they sprayed around those which all right I'm, I'm on board with but they didn't cut by the highway so 
Dad and I noticed it this morning. We're like, that kind of looks weird. I was like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. <laughs> so I ran out and cut. I didn't cut a lot because, like I said, they had already kind of done it in that one spot, and then the other areas that I um, I went ahead and cleaned up too. Just you know, it's our our little little thing we can do to make the world a better place, you know. And uh, it sure looks a lot better when I get done with it, you know. Uh, what else did I do with today at the farm? I didn't film a lot. I actually, I didn't film anything. I did take some pictures. Um, we were working on the, I wanted to get video of us working on the, uh, the laser, our, uh, X mark laser 2660 that we have down there. It just didn't work out. Uh, it's, I don't know when it's really hot like that. It's just, I don't, I don't, I'm not encouraged to get the camera out plus. Um, and, and this is not a bad thing, but my one brother was down there and I don't know if he watches his videos or not. I don't, I don't know. I'm cool with this brother. His brother's a good guy. He's the one with the kids that comes down sometimes on the, on Sundays and helps out and stuff, you know? And, um, well, he was down and, uh, yeah, he just kind of like, I guess dad told him what we were doing on the laser. And the next thing I know, I look over and it's like half done. It's like, oh, all right. So between dad and him, like my brother, and then, I mean, I was there. I was, I was, what was I doing? I don't even remember what I was doing. I know when I, I went out to mow the highway, they put it all back together while I was gone. And I was like, hmm, thanks for that. So I didn't get any pictures or anything of that, but, uh, they were knocking it out. They were. They were getting it. He's, he's a lot like me when it comes to being, you know, mechanically, at least a little bit. I'm not saying I'm my best ever, but like, you know, take stuff apart and put it back together. I can't tell you how many things when, when we were kids, just take apart to take apart, you know, VCRs or remote controls. I mean, you name it. And we were always taking stuff apart and putting it back together just to see if we could, you know, we were those kids. He's five years older than me. But that, there, I can remember taking some stuff apart and putting it back together just to be like, how does this work? Let's find out, you know, just saying, all right, here's our first, uh, our first flight for the Vaterstad, not Vaterstad, the Borgo. First flight for the Borgo guys. Kind of excited for this. Not going to lie. Kind of excited. I like the look of this thing. It just looks really, really good. It kind of, kind of looks American-ish. It kind of, kind, kind of, kind of, <laughs> I'm inter interested by the hitch on the back. Can we pull a cedar back there. Wait, hang on. I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to, but I'm just, I just want to look, you know, is this in here? No, no, that's in cultivators. Okay. So this thing is 12 meters. Okay, 12 meters. What would that be equivalent to? The Lemkin? Lemkin's 12 meters. Wouldn't that be like something kind of interesting? If you put the Lemkin behind it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be kind of strange, right? I feel like you could almost do it. That's 12.2. Um, that would be very interesting. Is there an option on this? There is, isn't there? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. That would be something. That'd be kind of funny. I'd, I'd, I would almost want to try that on a testing map, not necessarily like my let's play map where I'm trying to like make money and stuff, you know, I'm just saying, but this is the maiden voyage for the Borgo. Uh, I really like the look. Oh, bully, 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 bully. Holy cow. But I really like the look of this thing. It looks, it looks good to me. I like it. So hopefully it works out for us. Hopefully our John Deere has enough oomph to pull it around, you know? And I probably should not actually should. Me should, shouldn't actually get it going yet. I mean, the fertilizer is going to run away from it, you know, let the fertilizer at least pass, you know, before we start this, 
fertilizer is going to just absolutely annihilate it. So I'm not worried about that. We'll only tell it to go around twice. It's 12 meters. The fertilizer is way bigger and he's going around twice, I think. So not a big deal with our course play guys. I love course play. I did mess with auto drive a little bit over the weekend. Uh, we tried it on our multiplayer server and just it did not work for us. I think if a map is set up correctly for auto drive, auto drive could be a fantastic mod. But uh, unfortunately, this map, at least I don't have maybe maybe it is. I don't know. I don't have the thing for it. If this map is set up, you guys will probably know. Um, and then definitely our uh, 16x map we're running over multiplayer. That one's not like set up either. So. But I feel like if you had a map that was set up, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You're supposed to go to the, like, I thought you were set to go to the first waypoint there, buddy. Not the nearest, go to the first one. Thank you much. Uh, but if you had a map that, you know, you could download all the courses already far and everything. Auto drive seems like a really cool mod. So maybe in a future mod or a future, uh, a future, future map. You never know. Cause it could be really neat. I'm just saying, and it looks like our JD is going to do okay. Is it only going to go seven though? I mean, I wouldn't be opposed. Um, I would not be opposed guys. It, what, what speed is this thing supposed to go? That's, that's the first question here. It's supposed to go nine and we're only going seven to eight and we're on a flat ground. There is a hill that we're going to have to do. So big tractors. Here we come. Let's see. We have as actually. Is that 8R? Well, first off, our 8Rs need to be repaired. They're 8R 450. They're at 450 horsepower, allegedly. Okay. So if we go into the 8Rs. Um, is the yeah, 450 is the big one. Okay. Technically, I think an 8400 would have 400 horse, not four. Am I right? Am I, I'm pretty sure I'm right on that, right? It's their last of an R series tractor. Your last three numbers would technically be your horsepower. So technically, I think that's off by 50. And actually, I believe it too. Cause that, the tractor is okay, but I don't, I don't, I think it's a little light on the power personally. Uh, I do. And then same thing here. So that was, should be set up to 345, not 395. And that one's six, you know, I'm just, I, I just, I'm in it picking out. I, I'm pretty sure that's a thing, right? I'm thinking we need something articulated for running this cultivator. Uh, actually just, just for funsies, bear with me here, boys. Bear with me. I don't know why I want to buy this thing. And it's not enough horsepower. Do you like the rack of weights though? You gotta go with the steel tracks, right? I don't know why I want to buy it. I need to find something. No hitch. So a bumper pull. You could pull the fertilizer. 180 horsepower to pull the fertilizer. I don't know why I want to buy it. Talk me out of it, chat. I don't know. Comment section. Same thing with this thing. I want to buy it. I don't know why. There again, not enough horsepower. I need horsepower. And uh, it does not have. It does not have enough. So. That's, uh, that one, I'm not. Th th this one, I don't know why I would really want to buy it. Actually, this old Massey too. This old Massey, I kind of want to buy too, you know. I don't know why not not with turf tires though that's for sure not with the turf tires fender sure gps sure i don't know it's a good looking tractor anyway we need a tractor we can <laughs> i'm just over here looking at like tractors that we're probably never gonna buy let's be real uh i need a tractor with uh more than uh you know more than more than 420 ish horsepower i probably need something a little bit bigger i'm honestly and i know i've been wanting to buy this and i don't think we we don't have enough money we don't have enough money so why am i even looking at tractors right now i don't even know i don't even know what's that seven r what can you do with it 
I know you can add like, oh my god. Why? 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 Are we trying to float down the river? I mean... I don't... I don't know. Oh yeah. I kinda, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That goes to 350, but no, that's not enough for fire. Anyway, uh, can we take a loan? We can borrow money. We can borrow all the money in the world if we want. Not really, you know. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tractor. I, I usually would leave the a tractor purchasing decision um, up to you guys. Just out of curiosity, I'm not gonna buy it, but 445, okay. I like this tractor too, it's pretty cool. Uh, normally I would leave a tractor purchase decision up to you guys, but I think I'm going to overrule. Okay. All right. So that's 480. Okay. And that's the one where you got to go out and go back in if you want 480. Okay. 480. Is that really that much bigger though? Is that going to pull it? These are, these are 450. All right. We, we need more horsepower than 480. You know, I think we might need more horsepower. Oh, tough decisions, you know, I guess you guys tell me, um, we have, we have, you know, mods, we have, we has, we has mods really anything from like, what can you get on this guy? That's no better. Uh, that's going to be the same. So anything from the T9. T9, obviously the, the, the big boy here, that'll go plenty of horsepower. Uh, that, that'll probably work. And yeah, quad track, the John, I don't, I don't know about that. Um, even this guy might 530. I'd probably do it. You know, you guys tell me though, any of these tractors over here that'll actually, you know, pull it, obviously not a seven R, uh, this eight R, what does this go to? What does this go to? 450. So that that's probably out of the question too. Um, you know, the nine nine RX maybe, maybe six six seventy. Uh, you guys tell me though. What do you want to see? This quad track's actually really good. Quad track's really good. I'm just saying. It's pretty good. And of course that goes, you know, all the way to 692. Everybody knows what a quad track is. So you guys let me know, I guess I will not, uh, I will not, uh, I will not buy anything. Oh, you're done. I was like, what? I won't buy anything right now. You guys let me know in the, uh, comment section below and we'll buy something on Wednesday's video. Uh, by then we'll be able to sell as well. So we do have that cotton bale we can sell too. <laughs> yeah, you guys let me know on Wednesday or on, on this video what I should buy for Wednesday. Uh, tractor wise, I, I just want to, I want another big horsepower tractor. Bigger horsepower than I have now. Because these hills are, some of these hills are kind of real. I feel like I'm going to struggle a lot with, uh, with that 8R on there on these hills on that cultivator so all right go 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 get it close to the field maybe and then we'll say go go thank you go thank you by the way story time story time not about how miserable the farm is or that i'm going to go look in the shop for 20 more minutes but story time we went to i went i went to sam's club today yeah see we're going four miles four or five miles an hour and these hills are are nothing compared to the, some of the other fields so oh i gotta turn these lines off i i actually i used to play with these lines on all the time and i loved them i can't stand them now just saying so much better this way but i went to sam's club today 
I just have to say, if you guys go to Sam's Club, if you guys shop at Sam's and you have a smartphone and you don't use their scan and go or whatever it's called app, where you literally just scan your stuff and you just walk out the door. I mean, you show them your phone at the door. They scan your phone and you scan, they scan like one thing in your cart, but you don't have to go through the checkout line. If it's available at your store and you're not using it and you go to Sam's Club on a regular basis, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. It's awesome. It's awesome. You put your card in the app, you store it in the app. It knows when you're in a store because you know, it's you're connecting to their Wi-Fi, so it knows you're there. And uh, I don't even think you have to do that, but I do, uh, whatever. But um, it's awesome. You just get, you take a picture of the barcode on your phone and it puts it right in the app. It'll tell you what it is, how much it is. You can punch on there if you want to buy, you know, 85 of an item, you punch it up right there on the app and uh no waiting in checkout lines it was great it's great it's, it was great i just there's something really cool about standing right behind like all the lines of the checkouts and there were a lot of lines today today it was it was popping uh it was very very busy today but there's just something about standing there and just kind of looking around and being like i don't have to wait i can literally hit I, you swipe from left to right to agree to pay on that app. And, uh, you know, your card's already saved in there and everything. So it's good to go. Once you swipe, it pops up a QR code. And you literally walk to the person at the door. You show them your phone. They scan it. They scan an item in your cart. Have a nice day. You're done. No what waiting lines. No unloading everything. I personally... I put everything in the cart or I scan everything as I'm putting it in the cart. And then I try really hard because of course with the Rona going on right now, I try really hard to only touch my phone with my right hand and then only touch like the cart and the handles of, for say the fridge or the freezers or even the product. I try to only touch it with my left hand. Obviously like the case of water, I had to use both hands. But uh, I try to do it that way, so it's kind of, you know, a little bit better. And then when, when I, uh, most of the time, I, I'll either carry sanitizer on me or I will uh, uh, sanitize when I get to the truck before I, like, I open the door a, a very specific way. Kind of weird, I know, but, like, open the door away and then, like, sanitize. For sure. For sure. You're done over here already. Wow. Bowsers. Jeepers. Like zoinks, man. See, this is the advantage of having two of these bad boys. We can just knock out the fertilizer. No, that's not the field I want to fertilize, though, okay? My guy. Switch to field five. Thank you. Field five. Thank you much. Yeah, we can just knock out the acreage. And I feel like once we get a bigger tractor on the cultivator, we'll be able to knock out the acreage with that, too, you know? I'm just saying we will. We should. Wait, didn't I buy a big tractor for seeding? What did I buy for seeding? Why am I not just using that for right now anyway, you know? Try to get a little bit done, you know? I thought I bought a tractor for seeding. We're gonna have to go. Yeah. Why am I not just using this? I mean, it's gonna be a while before I can seed anyway, you know? I do need two big tractors though. I do. I do need a second big tractor, guys. So let me know in those comments below. It still stands. I still need it. Cause then like I could have, no, no, field 22. Uh, I could have, I could be cultivating a lot sooner, which obviously, you know, I just didn't get it going fast enough this time, but I could cultivate a lot sooner and then, um, you know, get on the planting. So I definitely want to be able to plant and cultivate at the same time. Uh, it would not be productive at all. Would not be productive at all to hit, cultivate everything and then have to start seeding everything. So we'll keep the quad track that I bought on the seeder. And then it, it still stands. You guys tell me what, what other tractor I should buy. Probably a green one to keep the balance, right? Or maybe a yellow one. Probably a green one. <laughs> I don't know. You guys tell me. 
you guys tell me need something with some horsepower though lots of horsepower that is our that's our number one requirement i don't care if it's articulated i don't i don't care whatever else but it needs to have power and lots of it hopefully i already have it installed as well just saying because actually that's not the biggest cultivator either eventually 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 we'll go with the disc hero uh we'll go with this bad boy i don't know why i just really like this only 12 meters but it goes 13 miles an hour so smaller on the, but it uses 560 horsepower and it needs every bit so it's smaller but it goes faster you know pretty awesome too it looks really good i i really really like that really like that mod so let's see do i need to turn his mr man i need to turn that up hmm no oh, he sets his own court his own gps never mind i see that's actually going it goes nine right isn't that what i said um uh, yeah it goes nine so it's working on a flat ground it's all well, even right now a little bit of a hill starting to lose speed so if i had a big tractor and not the one that's sitting in the shed but a different big tractor we just rip up this hill in no time basically start this right behind a sprayer you know so that's what i'm thinking but guys with uh, a little bit of story time going to sam's club today that was so much fun not really uh sam's club and then farm and just sweated a lot very hot and dirty dusty oh fixing the roll bar by the way um little explanation there these little tabs broke off of it and uh i think i talked about it in a, a different video but one of those tabs has been broken for over a year and just never got around to fixing it because yeah uh we had to take to basically disassemble the roll bar we took our canopy roof thing off first then we took the actual roll bar like the hoop part we'll call it the hoop part we took that off next and then we took off each side or i should say my brother did because he was just like getting it you know uh took off each side we had to take the wheels off the back wheels which kind of sucks but is what it is and uh did some welding and uh yeah they're high quality Dwayne, this is for you if you're if you're watching buddy uh high quality john one welds okay certified warranted to last exactly three and a half seconds okay that is the warranty and and the guarantee by me john from puma plow or something <laughs> don one anyway thank you guys so much for watching uh let me know about the tractors for uh thursdays tuesday wednesday i don't know my days wednesday's video uh if you guys are interested if you're watching this video monday i'm playing nascar heat five tonight on twitch links in the description tomorrow during the day i'm playing some halo i know nobody's interested in that i know i'm not gonna have like anybody watching and i'm okay with that we're just gonna have fun my buddy casey and i are gonna have fun and uh it's gonna be a good time oh and actually the wednesday video chat comment ewins uh wednesday is my birthday so we'll have a video i'll have a video come out on my birthday so there's that but thank you guys so much for watching let me know about the tractors have a great rest of your day and as always that's oodles.